Right, so it's dark and so about that. Um, okay, maybe that's better. Right, so I'll let you know, you guys, where um, things are. Uh, not much change, really, I'm afraid. Uh, pretty much the same story. Um, managing back pain. Um, at the moment, there's um, some nerve pain and some back pain. Uh, nerve pain does flare up. Uh, I've had a couple of workouts where I've had to crawl out of the gym on my hands and knees. But in general, I'm getting through it. Um, actually managed to hack squat the other last week for the first time. Uh, next leg session will be Monday. So um, hopefully I can repeat and improve on that. Yesterday I finally managed to get into the correct position with my back when I was training back, which means I'm actually hitting the lats properly how I want to now. It has meant a rather large reduction in uh, strength. Excuse me a minute. Try and get a better angle there. That should be a bit better. Um, in strength, but at least it's hitting the right muscle. Um, other news? Oh. Oh, yeah, I'm in with a specialist this month. Um, I have got more control of it. When the nerve in the leg goes, I can release it temporarily, but it does just come back next time I either sit down or bend over. Um, but stretching is still ongoing. Uh, I've started to put all my normal mobility stretching back in because now I can do, because uh, my back move, move pain is managed a lot better. Not running massive amounts of painkillers, just uh, a little bit of, nep of um, naproxen and baclofen. Just 10 meg of each in the morning, 10 meg of each in the night, and just some amitriptyline on a night to take the edge off the nerve. And that's it really, so all hunky-dory on that front. Uh, and like I say, it does seem to be improving. Mobility is a lot better. I can move around a lot better. And so hopefully now I can start to improve on my fitness, improve on my uh, intensity in the gym, and start to move forward a little bit. Uh, on other news, ooh. well I had had inquiries about representing a Dutch company at FIBO. Uh, that was all in the air because of my injury. I still don't know where we are with that. Um, I'm putting some size back on, but uh, I'm still fat. And I can't see a company wanting me on their stand in this condition. So, that is tight. And I am trying to make some inroads oh shit, into, uh, some inroads into improving my condition a little bit. Uh, I don't want to really diet diet when I can't train the full ball. So, I'm just trying to away a little bit and then hopefully I'll be good enough and they'll want me to do the show if not I'm probably gonna go anyway to be honest I've always wanted to uh, so I don't see why not still uh, filming bits and bats for the UC2 um, obviously there's not been much in the way of training stuff done at the moment um, all being well um, if all goes well for Mr. Mike Quinn, he's coming over this year and we're going to get together for a session or two. So that could be interesting. Uh, I'm also looking into going over stateside myself, but we're having a criminal record. It's not the easiest, uh, but I have some help from uh, a guy in the US. Um, so we'll see what happens on that front. Now... Uh, other news, many of you will be aware of the upheaval within the UK BFF. Um, I mean, we've had James Llewellyn resign his pro card, though quite rightly that was more IFBB restrictions that caused him to do that than the UK BFF itself. Obviously, Aaron's been very vocal about Bill's involvement in damaging his business. Uh, Mike and Lisa Gelsey have left as judges. Warren Beatty's left as a judge. Uh, I believe 
Angie may have done another senior judge and I also believe that a couple of other senior judges are leaving or have left so sounds like about 50% of the quality judges uh, have gone uh, how much more is left I don't know I've heard of uh, other outbreaks regarding the way Bill spoke to judges at the European Arnold's and other shows recently. Uh, and I mean this in all sincerity. And I did did uh, suggest this to the person I was talking to. I seriously wonder if he has some sort of mental disorder. Because um, the behaviour is not rational. His outbursts uh, are not normal. Uh, and they appear, from everyone I'm speaking to, to be getting worse. Anyway, cut a very long story short. I noticed that some of the momentum behind the want for change had uh, died uh, and that uh, there were a few key people starting to say, look, I'm not interested anymore. I don't want to get involved. It's starting to leave a bad taste in my mouth, things like this. So uh, this concerned me because... Uh, Obviously, a lot of us want change, and we want change for the good. Uh, I'm not interested in making this a personal battle. I mean, I've had my runs in with Bill myself. But uh, more to just change for the good of the sport. Now, it's difficult because some of the problems are FBB related, and some of the problems are UK BFF related. Anyway, I have been in contact with uh, an attorney in America who is friends with Rick Collins. Rick Collins is the FBB attorney. And we've put, we've had a phone call um, and discussed with Rick what's been going on and some of it appeared to be known or at least there were, it was indicated that there were questions being raised about the conduct of Bill. Uh, we formally drafted a letter and put a proposal together, which is basically the removal of a few other judges, the removal of UK of Bill and Wanda from running the UK BFF, but leaving them involved internationally, and the instatement of Mike and Leisha Gelsey as UK BFF head honchos. Uh, this would see the return of Warren, Angie, and several other judges. Uh, and then just some fairness, you know, uh, some response to people and some of the matters outstanding being dealt with. Um, Darren and his uh, overdue pro card, Kev Taylor and his overdue pro application, uh, and a bit more freedom for the UK pros to do gym seminars. Well, okay, IFBB rules forbade them from doing other federations. But they don't forbid him from doing gym seminars. That's Bill's doing. <laughs> so, uh, and hopefully, you know, rescue the Federation and bring it back. The comment was made that numbers didn't seem to be falling at the shows. And, and this was uh, discussed in that no, because they're being replaced with men's physique and bikini and fitness. And if it carries on at the current rate, it's going to be the UK... Fitness Federation, because there will be very little bodybuilding. We estimated about 30% of bodybuilders had migrated. It may even be more. But the other thing is, the, the, the fitness near market, and this is no disrespect to fitness competitors, men's physique or anything, but at the rate it's going, it's going to saturate very, very quickly. And it's going to become stale very, very quickly, because there's a limit to the differences between the physiques. So what's going to happen then is that people are going to want something different. So they're going to want freaks again. They're going to want mass again. It's going to go in cycles. It will it will become cyclotic. Uh, and there isn't going to be anybody in the UK BFF because everybody's migrated. So these were the things that were put across. My motivation behind this is purely I hate to see a sport I love. Okay, I don't compete. I don't even class myself as a bodybuilder. Uh, I'm just a guy who likes to lift weights and be big. But I do love the sport and it's tearing itself apart. Now, it's always been bitchy. It's always been backstabby. 
it's the nature of the type of individual that does it. There's a lot of egos, there's a lot of insecurity. That's why certain, you know, a large number of people get into this in the first place. Excuse me. Oh, sorry if it's not this one. But at the moment, it's ridiculous. It's insane. So, uh, anyway, this was all put forward. And I believe there's going to be discussions at the Arnold's. So, hopefully, there's no promises. Uh, but I've tried. Uh, and hopefully, this will be a positive approach that can't be rubbished off as somebody just bitter or twisted or... or somebody responding because they felt they'd been wrong done or jealousy over a placing or anything like that because obviously a lot of complaints are about placings and such like and they're just written off um, so hopefully this may if nothing else get some attention and get people looking will it, will it incite change I don't know I really don't um, but we'll see Apart from that, like I say, not really much else going on. Um, going up today to clear my mum's effects from her house. Uh, not exactly the most joyous of occasions, but these things need to be done. Uh, oh, that was it. Uh, I didn't really respond to people on the video, but I do want to make a massive thank you to all those that left their condolences and uh, their thoughts and their comments. It was really appreciated. Thank you, guys. As you can see, I still... Uh, Accept the situation, but you know, certain times discussing it can be upsetting. Anyway, um, enough of my ramblings, and I've just noticed that we've nearly hit 12 minutes, which is quite a long one for me. So uh, I'm going to get off. Um, wish you all the best, and hopefully, in a couple of weeks, I'll be posting some up that will be very positive on the training front, and we can start putting some size back on this boy. Okay then, take care now, bye bye.